So a lot of people who use Stable Diffusion use a tool like something called Comfy UI. It's another graphical interface. There's a bunch of websites that can do it. Um, but what I wanted to show today is just how simple it is to use it from code. Um, and I'm going to use this library called Diffusers. It's provided by Hugging, Hugging Face. You can get it on Pip. You can get it on Conda. It's on a whole bunch of these things. Um, it actually works on the Mac with PyTorch and uh, the Metal GPU if you've got a Mac. But we're going to do it on the Arma Linux VM we used for yesterday's video. Okay, right. So, logged into Jupyter Hub. Diffuse is installed. I installed it with Pip. Um, again, you saw this yesterday. Um, if you look online, it'll tell you how to install Diffuse, how to install PyTorch. Um, and we're going to open a new Jupyter Notebook. And then we are going to import some libraries. Specifically, we want so from that, we want to support import the, 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 import the stable diffusion XL pipeline. Okay. Um, and what is that? So if we actually look in the uh, documentation, we'll see there's a lot of built-in pipelines for various types of models. Um, and this is just a really nice interface for Hugging Face, which will pull the weights from us for us from Hugging Face and then set up a pipeline so we can easily use the uh, pipeline from code. So the other thing we want to do, because we're going to use a torch type to describe something, is we want to import torch. And the final thing we want to do is just set up our, create a string for later in which we will store the model. In this case, we're going to use the stability AI slash stable diffusion XL base 1.0 model. OK, let's just import those. Um, you will get an error here, a warning here, because uh, diffusers now use some features of PyTorch which are deprecated. Um, they're not, they haven't been removed from the library, but they are deprecated. Okay. Here is, but this, this message is because the format for the underlying cache has changed. Right. In the next box, we're actually going to create that pipeline. And we're going to do that by calling method of stable diffusion XL pipeline. Have that right? XL pipeline called from retrained. And we're going to call that with the string we defined up here. Right, I just defined up here so you can easily change the model. There's no reason you can move the string indirectly. Um, we're going to set the type of number that it's going to use for this to. Um, Type is defined in torch called torch sixteen, and we're going to say the variant of the model that we want is the fourteen point sixteen bit version. Okay. Um, final thing I'm going to do is just because the exist mere existence of this annoys me, so let's remove this. Auto marker equals false. Okay. So, the next thing we want to do is we want to put that um, pipeline onto the GPU. So, because of the way Jupyter works, if you don't put the return value somewhere, it will print out a bunch of JSON to the screen. It's just ugly. If you can hide, if you want to have a dummy variable, underscore works right, does that in Python. Um, so we do pipeline to, and then CUDA, because it's a GPU device. Okay. And we run that. And I've put a typo in there. Yep, there we go. Let's run that. And now, because um, on this machine, I emptied the cache and didn't have the weights. It's fetching all the weights for stable diffusion. You get nice uh, progress bars on this version as opposed to one in the previous video because in the previous video it's forked out to a parallel process because of the way I've written that wrapper. Um, that's good. So it's downloaded all of the stuff and it's put it onto the GPU. Probably see that. Yeah. 
see we are now using about seven gigabytes of GPU memory. Okay. Final thing we need to do, and again, I'm doing this for easy easiness of repetition. There's no reason you can just put it directly in. Give a prompt. I'm going to tell it uh, cute penguin playing hot drink. Eight. And then we simply to call a pipeline. We say picture pipeline prompt. Um, this will return a list of lists, so we're just going to grab the first item. We're only generating one image. Right. Um, finally, we want to show that picture to the display. We run it. There's a whole bunch of tunable features you can give in arguments to the pipeline, like the number of iterations and a whole bunch of other things. Um, but this is really simple to do. By default, it does 50 iterations. Here we go. Here's our picture. Got a penguin. Got a hot drink. That's not a lot of code, right? That's what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lines of Python. So you really don't need a big complicated tool to do this. You just need to pull the library in front of it. 